welcome to Young Enterprise Scotland and to the Circular Economy Challenge. Over the next six weeks, you and your class will get the opportunity to set up your own company, design your own product or service, and then present your ideas to experts just like on Dragon's Den or The Apprentice. The circular economy is all about creating a zero waste world. At the moment, many of our products go into landfill at the end of their life. We think about where everything has value and nothing is wasted. At the moment, we take products, we use them and then we dispose of them. What we're trying to do is make sure that they perhaps can even last forever. We think about designing products so that their natural life can be extended. We think about servicing and repairing them so that they can last longer. And we also think that if they can't last as long in their current state, then perhaps we can remanufacture and reuse them. The Circular Economy Challenge itself will be a competition between you and a number of other schools. You'll work in school over the next few weeks. You'll come up with an idea for a product or service after you've researched the circular economy. You'll then get an opportunity to design that product or service. Perhaps you'll do a paper design, a computer design, or even build a prototype. Then you'll brand that product and advertise it, coming up with a logo and a slogan, just like in real business. Once you've done that, the next step will be to present it and to try to sell your ideas to the experts and convince them that your idea is the best. You'll attend a showcase event at the end where you'll get the opportunity to stand up and present your ideas to real life experts from the circular economy. Some of the examples that we have here and you'll be able to research back in school come from both Scotland and elsewhere. Mud jeans. You've heard about being able to rent your phone as part of a contract. Well, in this case, you can rent your jeans. You rent your jeans for one year, and then at the end, you send them back to the company who will actually make brand new pairs of jeans from the jeans you've returned. Adidas Parley. Here we have Adidas Parley. This is a partnership between Adidas and an Ocean Defenders charity called Parley. They work alongside Juventus, Bayern Munich, Manchester United and other large teams to create their third football kits. And those football kits are made from rescued plastic from the ocean. Repair Cafe Glasgow. Repair Cafe Glasgow is based here in Scotland. They will take anything from clothing, electrical goods, furniture, jewellery, anything at all that can be repaired and extend their life by repairing them. Revive Eco. Revive Eco are also based in Glasgow and what they do is they take used coffee granules and the plan is to extract important oils from them. The idea is that they'll be able to use those precious oils in place of palm oil for things like cosmetics and toiletries. Fairphone. Fairphone is a modular phone system. This means that it can be taken apart and each piece can be replaced and repaired when something happens to it. So instead of throwing out the phone, once a piece is damaged, you simply replace that part. Here at Young Enterprise Scotland, we are trying to be a circular organisation as much as possible. And we host several different companies and organisations who are very circular. Let's go for a tour. We have NDT Cycling, and like a lot of cycling organisations, what they try to do is rescue bikes from landfill. In Scotland each year, around 5,000 bikes are thrown into landfill, and NDT Cycling rescue those bikes, give them a new home and a new lease of life. We also host Big Green Feet. What they do is collect food waste from cafes and restaurants locally in an electric vehicle and then bring it back to the site where they put it into the rocket composter. The compost then is used in turn to grow new food. We also host Locavore. Not only do they not have any packaging at all in their products, what they also do is they cut down on food miles by growing all their food and sourcing all their food from approximately a 30 mile radius. This means that food miles are cut down which in turn means 
that fossil fuel use is cut down. We also have our own Eco Lodge. The Eco Lodge uses zero fossil fuels. Instead, the walls are filled with sheep wool and the sheep's wool acts as an insulation. The sheep's wool wouldn't have been used for anything else. It would probably have been taken to landfill. This particular sheep's wool is ideal for insulation. We also have on our site several beehives. And in the circular economy, what we try to do is copy nature. And bees are one of the best examples of being circular and cutting down waste. If you think about all that valuable honey that's in the beehives, the bees protect it by creating beeswax so that it doesn't run out of the hive. That's just one of the ways in which bees are part of the circular economy in nature. To inspire you, we have a few clips here of some of the experts we've been talking about. Experts who work here in Glasgow in Scotland in the circular economy. They'll talk about their real life experiences and hopefully you'll be able to get some ideas from them. My name is Fergus, this is Scott. Um, together we are founding a company called Revive. Uh, the basic concept of what we're doing with Revive is that we collect and recycle used coffee grounds. So when you buy your coffee from Starbucks, Costa Coffee, wherever, um, there's coffee grounds left over. We provide them with a bin, we take that back to our facility, and from that we make a range of environmentally friendly products. Uh, sort of makeup, uh, hair products, lots of, lots of different things like that. So there was a kind of a mix of different things that all culminated in us being here, I guess. Um, Number one, I think, is that both of us always had an aspiration to start our own business. So that led to us studying entrepreneurship at university to sort of build up the skill set that we could then use to do that. And I think neither of us really knew what business we wanted to start, for example. So part of a class project, we had to kind of work on different ideas. And at that point, we were both working in cafes and restaurants. So we had started to see the issue of food waste. So we started to think, well, surely there's something we can do about that. And when it got to the point that we were finishing university, we thought, do we want to do this sort of full time and see where it takes us or do we want to go and get a job? And both of us were thankfully in the same boat and that we wanted to go and start our business and try and have a real impact on, on the environment. And, and that's kind of led us to where we are today. I'm Jennifer and I work with Egg Lighting. We're an industrial lighting company, so that's not your desk lamps at home. It's your really, really big lamps in supermarkets or street lights or a Presto Care port, which we've done recently as well. Our company started off with one person, um, started off with Brian O'Reilly, my boss, and he went on Dragon's Den, the BBC programme, with a product called the Energy Egg. You can still find it on YouTube. And what it was, it was a sensor for your home. So it could turn off your TV if you left the room. But what it couldn't do, it couldn't talk to a lot of things or over an entire house. That was quite difficult to set up. So our idea came along to make, incorporate it with the lights. So you put both of them together and then suddenly we have, well, we have lights all over the house or we lights all over a supermarket. So by putting a sensor and, and it can talk to each of those lights, then suddenly it's a lot smarter. And that's where this idea, this company took off. My name's Katie Murdoch. I am sales manager in Glasgow for a company called Changeworks Recycling. Changeworks Recycling is a social enterprise, which means our profits go to charity. And we've been going for 15 years and we collect business waste um, we provide a service for businesses across Glasgow and Edinburgh, and we work with our businesses to help them produce better quality recycling and to recycle more. So all businesses today in the UK have to recycle. Um, now our company wants to help businesses recycle better, so that means recycling as much as possible, and it also means recycling to a good standard. So we want to encourage this good recycling um, because it's better for the environment. So our company is starting to adhere to circular economy principles. We actually recycle everything in the UK. So none of the recycling that we collect from businesses is shipped to any other country. It's all recycled as close to home as possible. So for example, our food waste um, that we collect from businesses is recycled here in Scotland. 
um, and turned into energy that's used to heat homes. We also try and find a, a reuse for materials if possible. One example is recently we picked up lots of mattresses from a hotel that were old mattresses and couldn't be continued to be used. They needed new ones in this hotel. And we sent those mattresses to the Edinburgh Dog and Cat Home that they, so they could use them for bedding uh, for the dogs and cats who, who needed some bedding. I'm Darren Wilson. Um, I'm a product designer and I run a small company called Kabloom um, and I make eco-friendly fun products. So yeah, the, the idea kind of came from, I was at university and I was studying uh, design um, and I decided to focus on eco-friendly design, you know, because environment is really important and people are talking about it more um, and recyclability and all those things were coming into people's minds. Mm -hmm. So I decided I had to make something eco-friendly um, and it's something that wasn't going to end up in landfill, you know, so nothing made of plastic. Um, and what I wanted to do was to get people to reconnect with nature, to get outside more, you know, less watching TV and playing computer games and whatever, and getting outside and having a bit of fun. Um, and so I thought I'd design things that were fun to use and you could grow. Make things that would get people to connect with nature and get outside and have a bit of fun. And to make things that weren't gonna end up um, in landfill, so things that would actually biodegrade, disappear, could be going to compost. Um, so I decided to make um, a product called a seed bomb. It's one of my products I designed. Um, I designed lots of things at university, but that was the one thing that kind of stuck with me. And then years later, I started a business with it, you see, so it was, it was the one idea that kind of really uh, stuck in my head. Um, and basically, it's a global grenade, so it's um, it's it biodegrades in the environment. Um, it's got wildflower seeds inside, um, compost inside. So the idea is you throw these around into the ground um, and grow wildflowers for bees and butterflies and other pollinated insects. Good luck with the challenge. We look forward to hearing all your exciting ideas and hopefully we'll see you at the final.